Hey guys, it's me Hot, Im Hot Animations, and today I'm going to be doing a video why human beings are designed to be omnivores and not herbivores or not frugivores. Now, oftentimes I hear this that we're only designed to eat fruit. Now, I'm just going to be debunking this. I think this really gets popular uh, where Dr. Milton Mills, if I'm saying his name correctly, um, picture is going to be, I'm going to show a picture of him right now, says that we're frugivores or that we shouldn't eat meat. Now, obviously, I'm not saying he's wrong in his profession because I'm sure he's a very knowledgeable man that knows a lot in his own profession. However, he is not a biologist, scientist, or anything else. Of course, that being said, a lot of his information should be taken as credible because he is a doctor and he probably knows more than, you know, me or you does. But to say he is more credible than a biologist seems a little ridiculous. Well, anyways, I'm going to be going over his arguments right now. Remember, guys, if you um, like this if you like this video and this is educational to you, make sure to like. And without further ado, I'm going to start with the video. So, first of all, uh, the animals that he's comparing us to are frugivores, not herbivores. I should note that as well, because there is a difference. But anyways, basically what he's saying is that we're frugivores because uh, we walk on four legs and paws or walk upright. Our mouth is small opening. Okay, well, I'm just going to debunk this. There are many different types of herbivores, like hippos, horses, and a bunch of other animals, that and camels, that have huge mouth openings, and they only eat plants. The next one is canines for defense in the frugivore, blunt canines. Now, of course, the thing is, our canines are sharp enough to eat meat on their own. So, really, there's no need to develop gigantic canines like, say, a bear or a tiger. We've always had weapons. And our teeth are not flat. I mean, if you look at our molars, for example, our molars are not flat. They're jagged. But anyways, big and flat incisors, again, was the notion. Our incisors are not completely flat. If you look at your back teeth, yeah, they're flatter than your front teeth, but they're not really flat. Like, they're still jagged and rough. Um, and yeah, sweat through pores, again. Basically, all this proves is that we are omnivores, because if you look at the animal that they're comparing us to, or that Dr. Milton Mills is comparing us to, sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, the, it's an omnivore, not a frugivore. Second of all, frugivores are typically omnivores that primarily eat fruit. So, honestly, this really just doesn't make much sense as to, um, you know, what this proves, in fact, and if anything, this would prove that we're omnivores. But actually, there are many Artis arguments, which is the main point he is using, is that's not even true because you have herbivores like camels, hippos, and water deers that only eat plants that have canines. I'll show pictures of those right now. So, and then you have carnivores like whales, for example, that have flat teeth and that only eat meat. The next argument is claws, and again, most herbivores have claws. Look at guinea pigs, koalas, kangaroos. Uh, green iguanas and birds that only eat plants and they have claws. But you can look at many different carnivores like wolves, walruses, frogs, toads, salamanders, and dolphins and sharks that eat meat and they have no claws at all. So, honestly, next, you know, um, in fact, what really tells if you're an omnivore or a herbivore or a carnivore is your digestive system. For one, our digestive system can metabolize many different types of foods. We can get nutrition from meats, plants, than anything, really, uh, that we could digest. And so happens we could do that. If we were really meant to be frugivores, we'd only be able to get our nutrients from fruits and vegetables and nuts. But instead, we could get nutrients from almost anything. Second is stomach acidity. Our stomach is the strongest among any primate. Our stomach is 1.5 to 3.5, which is where it should be. To be a comparison, an herbivore, or specifically a frugivore, its stomach acid is 5.1 to 8.1. A carnivore stomach acid, like a lion or a wolf, is 1.1 to 3.5. So this would actually, funny enough, put us in the carnivore category. Now, I'm not saying we should only eat meat, but what I am saying is that to say we're, our bodies are designed to mostly live on a vegan or vegetarian diet seems a little bit of a stretch, as our bodies, our digestive system, we have the same acidity as a carnivore. Or an omnivore like a bear. So, just to say, just to recap on this, the point of this is not to debunk what, or not to debunk, well, you know, obviously to debunk, but not to go against what this doctor is saying, and I'm sure many of what he is saying is credible. Again, what he should just be saying is that humans, 
don't need meat to live. We can live on a vegan, vegetarian, or carnivore diet. This is clear. Whatever lifestyle fits better for you, you can live on whatever lifestyle. Um, you could live being a meat eater. You could live being a vegan. You could live being an omnivore. It really doesn't matter um, what your eating habits are, as our bodies are adapted to eat various amounts of diets. We're omnivores. This is clear. However, to say that we're only designed to eat plants it seems a little bit of a stretch, as the evidence I've showed you. But anyways, no disrespect to Dr. Milton Mills, no disrespect to the people who actually believe in this, and obviously no disrespect to people on plant-based diets, but sorry guys, we are omnivores and not herbivores, or frugivores or whatever. Thanks for watching this video, if you enjoyed, have a great day, and peace out as always. Goodbye.